Smith to help us tonight. We're going to address some issues that keep us from enjoying these precious promises, this better covenant, amen, founded upon better promises. I agree all you that be is my hunger. We appreciate you coming out. Thank God for you. Thank God for taking time out here to give the schedule for all those that tune in by Facebook and YouTube. Appreciate you tuning in. Thank God give you understanding of what you hear. Amen. Amen. We appreciate you. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. You know the devil is a Jesus. I don't care what he does. Amen. 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 So look around and remind somebody the devil has been destroyed. No, I have been destroyed. Second chapter book of Hebrews, 14th verse. Mm -hmm. So no matter what he comes up with, he don't have, he's not who he used to be. Amen. First verse said, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk what? In love, as Christ also has loved us, that given himself for us. Oh, please just help me. Oh, so you know, I'm doing this only one day. Let's do that again. Fifth chapter, Ephesians, first verse. Be therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us, and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God, a sweet smelling savor. But listen to what Paul goes on to say. We're not going to focus on what he goes on to say, but I want you, I want you to hear what he says to the church. So a lot of people think these restraints are for Old Testament. Uh -huh. Oh, they missed it. Amen. But fornication and all uncleanness of covetousness, let it not be once named among you as the coming saints. Neither foolishness, excuse me, sorry, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. But this ye know. Are you listening? That no homemonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. I can't stop there. I got to read the next part. Mm -hmm. Let no man deceive you with vain words. And that's what is going on. People trying to con folks, help people trying to keep the commandments in the book. Mm -hmm. And often I've read that verse said that. This is a new covenant you make with us. They'll take his law and commandments and put them in our hearts and in our minds. Hello. Amen. David, before this, said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I'll not sin against you. Signifying, David said, If I get that word in my heart, I won't sin against God. Amen. Sins are transgressed against God's law. Amen. 1 John 3 and 4. Amen. Hello. So you got people out here teaching for these vain words. God loves you no matter what. Oh, the devil is alive. Yeah. No one don't even loves the word propitiation means appeasement. Mean appeasement. See, Jesus became the propitiation for our sins. That means he appeased something. Right. What did he appease? God's wrath. God's wrath. Mm -hmm. So if we don't get up under the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. and like he said, abide in him, mm -hmm. continue in him. Then we come back up under the wrath of God. And a lot of people don't understand God is not killing people, but He will draw His hand of protection. Right. He will draw His mercy. And there's a fellow that's going about to steal, kill, kill and, destroy. and destroy. One place you go about the road, say you go about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. So he's going about looking for folk to eat up. Amen. But the only reason why he's not eating up everybody because God's covenant of mercy and grace is still upon him. But when a person continues to practice these things, Paul said, let them not once be named among us. You know, we keep practicing these things, we lose God's grace and mercy and come up under his wrath. Amen. So Paul went on to say, but because of these things, what? What? No, I'm scared. Right, right. Sick person right. scared. Right. You, got, you got scared. Right. 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 You got scared. You got a cold feet back. Right. They want to go in the book. But because of these things come with the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Mm -hmm. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. With them. Mm -hmm. For you were sometime darkness, but now are you light in the Lord. What did he say? Walk, Walk, Walk as children of the light. Mm -hmm. We inherited something. Mm -hmm. The Bible said God is light. Mm -hmm. For the apostle John first. 
John the first chapter. God is light, and in him there is no darkness, darkness, darkness at all. Sin, Satan, and darkness are synonymous terms. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Thank you, Lord. Iniquity is lawlessness. And Jesus said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many. He said, if you love me, keep my commandment. The love of many would wax cold. So what is happening, a lot of people's love for Christ has waxed cold, and they no longer keeping God's commandments, but still naming the name. Paul called that the apostate church. Go with me to 2 Thessalonians. Now, I'm not going to dwell on this part too long, but I want to lay this foundation. Y'all follow what I'm saying? But you can't be practicing the things I just named to you. And I'm not going to keep you hurting them, because you heard me. Fornication, you know, covetousness. Now, you can't keep practicing those things. Right? Where mm -hmm. I go? I'm saying y'all heard me. So you can't keep practicing those things and not end up under the wrath of God. You will be twice dead at the Jews, I think what Jews said, yeah, twice dead. Mm -hmm. Jews said twice dead. You'll die spiritually the second time, and mm -hmm. there's no recovery from that. Second Thessalonians, the first chapter. No, first, second chapter. What did I say? Second Thessalonians, what chapter? I said first, the second chapter. Five. Yeah, second chapter. I'm trying to correct myself. <laughs> now we beseech you, brother, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Yeah. Did y'all hear that, Paul? Mm -hmm. But Paul goes on to give us the sign that the day of Christ is at hand. So he goes on to say, let no man deceive you by any means. Now listen to this. But that day shall not come, except what? That come a falling away first. What do we see all around us? Exactly. People say, well, the pandemic, that ain't got to lose you serving Christ. If you disobey the Lord, that's sin. If God told you to do something, you didn't do it because of a pandemic or a plague, you have to disobey, disobey God to go to hell. Thank you. Now, you be hard, you being cold. No, 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 no. Jesus said, what shall a prophet of man, ain't that book of Mark that I used to go, what shall a prophet of man if he gained the whole world lose his soul? Amen. And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Mm -hmm. So you're up there trying to save your life, but you go along to him, whosoever shall save that life shall lose, shall lose it. it. But whoever loses it for my sake shall gain it and life eternal. Mm -hmm. So you're going against the very tenets of Christ, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and still claim to be saved. You can't be. For the first thing to be saved, you got to deny your Mark 8, 34. So if you don't deny yourself and take up your cross and follow Christ, then he do what he did. And how, what did he do for the Father? He died for him. He was obedient even unto the death of the cross. Man. So you saying you're not going to be obedient because the plague got there. That's what people are saying. They didn't quit going to church because they're scared to go get the plague. All of a sudden, God's not greater than, than, than COVID. All they didn't quit serving God when they got a cold. Some of them got the flu, some of them got pneumonia. They still serve God. So what was what's up with that? I don't get it, y'all. 99.9% of the people that get cold will survive. It's more than that, 99.996 that get COVID will survive. No, four. Nine 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 four. Four nine nine four. But all them that get COVID will survive. Amen. Amen. That's it. Most people that get the flu, get the cold, get a, a pneumonia, they survive. Amen. But none of them for the flu, pneumonia, the cold gave up Jesus. Yeah. So when they got over the cold, got over the flu, got over the pneumonia, came right back to church. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you got people now laying out of church mm -hmm. and they ain't got they ain't got no sign of COVID. Leave the wrong report. But they be all up there in the grocery store. Yeah. Everywhere. All at the convenience store. Amen. Huh? Everywhere they need to be other than in the house of God. Amen. Afraid. Then someone come and say you have to take the snake back because you love your fellow man. 
Originally, when they were talking about that snake bite, they said you get that snake bite, that you'd be hyper contagious for seven days. Mm -hmm. And that you could actually give it to other people. Now all of a sudden they had changed it and not tell the folks because they wanted to spread. Yes, the reason why they wanted to spread is so they can fall more people through the fear of death. They're going to take the snake bite. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. They get that venom in their veins. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Are y'all following what I'm saying? Amen. So the fear of death has crippled a lot of people and caused their faith to no longer be viable. Mm -hmm. But yet they want to still claim the name of Christ, still claim to be servants of the most high God, and stuck up at home in fear. Oh. Well, the Bible said you won't obey the law of the land until it uh, gets what God told you to do. Amen. Peter said it's better to obey God than man. Amen. Lord. Hello. I hate to say this, but I got to say it. They talked about the light skinned folks like they were dogs and said they didn't kill us by those things. They was always putting us down, you know, not killing us, shooting us down. But just as soon as they said, take that snake bite, it's being old. they bowed down. We were dying before. Yeah. We were getting sick going to the hospital before. Yeah. The only difference was, now watch what I'm saying, the only difference were the caretaker was actually telling us what to do to survive. Mm -hmm. But now they're not telling you what to do to survive. Nope. Mm -hmm. They just sticking a pipe in your chest, in your nose, and leaving you there. Mm -hmm. Now in some places, because of whoever they are, the person that they are, they're actually trying to you know, help them. But out of out of a hundred hundred of them, seventy nine percent of them are not helping the people. They just no. let them die. Yeah. Hello, because no, they want them to take that snake bite. Because the snake bite got venom in it, Amen. and the venom in it is is <laughs> is a number. Hey. Yes, sir. Thank you. The venom in it is a number, and read Revelation thirteen. You know what I'm talking about. Amen. So we need that saints of God to focus on this better covenant that God has given us so that we can begin to walk in the power of God in the face of all this. Amen. So that we can give people an alternative. Because if the saints are acting just like the sinners, they scared, the sinners scared, everybody scared, everybody really scared. Where are they, where are they going? I told the saints years ago, not that long ago, that the time was coming when a saint would be a refuge from the storm, a shelter from the storm. Amen. That people would come to the saints. You got authority over that COVID. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You got privileges. Somebody say, I got privileges. I got privileges. <laughs> Let's go to the 12th chapter of St. John. Look at some of the privileges of this new covenant. Is that all right? I'm sorry, 14th chapter of St. John. 14th chapter. Amen. We need to look at some of these privileges and begin to build our faith in it. And how do you do that? By hearing it over and over and over again. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Our biggest problem is we just want to hear it one time because we're looking for a quick fix. Everybody's looking for a quick fix. They don't understand if you continue in my word, Jesus said, then are you my disciples. You know what continue me? Remain, stay, abide, live there. Something that I was reading the other day, and I don't know if I mentioned it here or not, but I had mentioned it. And it was so powerful, it blew my mind when, when the Lord revealed it to me. He said, my son, attend to my words and climb you into my saints. You know, most folk in the church world ain't attending to God with the climb you into their saints. Mm -hmm. I would call some names, but if I call them names, they're going to cut me off right quick. Mm -hmm. Amen? But there's a fox that they're listening to. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Y'all know that. Amen. And there's a, a binding called Cabbage in that they listen to. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to listening to the Lord Jesus Christ, my son, attend, incline that is, attend to my word, incline that is unto my sin. Mm -hmm. Right? Attend to my word, incline your ears unto my sin. Let them not depart from before your eyes, but keep them in the midst of your heart. Mm -hmm. Now, watch it. For they are life. Man. So they're afraid of dying. But Jesus said, My words are life. If you attend to them, incline to them, let them not depart from before you and keep them in your heart. There'll be life under you and health to all your flesh. Man. Amen. You know, and, and one translator said medicine. But you're going to take medicine unless you're sick, right? Amen. So if you got the COVID, take the medicine. That's right. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. When the enemy attacked me with anything, you know what I did? Now, I, I hate right. to say this. I got sick. Oh, you know, they blessed me. They let me, you, you know, uh, stream my sermons over and over their air. So I, I hope they, they won't get mad when I say this. I thank God for you too. You know what I do at night? I pull up YouTube and there's a channel on there that has healing scriptures. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You know what I do? I turn it on and, and lay down and go to sleep with it playing. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And many times when I'm not doing anything, I, instead of reading the Bible, I just sit there and let it play the scriptures to me. I just sit there and listen to it. Amen. 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 Why? Because the interest of his word gives us light and understanding, right? But then he also said, keep it in the midst of your heart and it'll be wow. life and health. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think that's the best advice I can give anybody that's afraid right now right. is use YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to St. John 14 chapter. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, I thank you. I say, praise you, Jesus. Ninth verse said, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you? And yet thou hast not known me, Philip. He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Then he said, Believe thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Remember, I told you about us being in the Father, and, and Jesus in the Father. We've been in Jesus in the Father, and the Amen. Father and Jesus being in us. We are one with them according to 17 chapter book of St. John. You remember that? All right, now watch it. But I speak. The word that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Amen? Amen. Right? Y'all see that? Amen. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, I believe me for the very works sake. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. So watch this. I had to see all that because I to get to this and if it has any weight with you, to get to this 12th verse so to have weight with you, you had to right. understand the previous verse. If you don't embrace them, this ain't going to happen. Because all you're like, God can do this. All things are possible with God. God can't fail. God will come through. Y'all know what I'm saying? But Jesus said, you believe in God, believe also in me. Amen? So if you believe that, then I want you to believe in Jesus. So if you believe in Jesus, then what I'm about to read you becomes a reality and not a hope so. Verily, which means truly, truly. This is one of those precious promises. Right. I say unto you, he that believeth upon me, the works that I do, shall what? He, I heard, do also. Isn't that powerful? Somebody say it's powerful. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Then he goes on with all of the discourse and we got all the way down to this 12th verse. And he says, truly, truly, I say unto you, he that believes on me. Now, how many of y'all men say they believe in Jesus? Yeah, a lot. How many of you men say they believe in Jesus? So why aren't they doing the works of Jesus? They truly believe. He that believes on me, the work that I do, shall he do also. So if, why aren't they doing the works? Because it's easy to say you believe. Yeah. Especially when you're one of them people that think you can separate your actions from your word and it'd be okay. Most of us that know that when you say one thing, do something else, you're lying. <laughs> Most of us know that. But there are a few, a few of us that still believe that you can say one thing, do something else, and it's okay. That's acceptable. No, I think the word lie is still the same definition. Amen. Amen. So if you say you believe and you're doing something contrary, you're trying to deceive. Because why would you say that? Why did you say I don't believe? Why did you say that? I don't think about that. Don't cross my mind. So why why you why you say I can do what Jesus do? Mm. Then I can help them. Amen. Right? Because yeah. in a minute that they don't believe. Mm -hmm. Even though they don't say it, they just say it. It don't even cross my mind. I don't cross my mind. I don't think about it. But then they're going to tell me I believe and then turn right around and their lives contradict that. Something wrong with that picture. You know, faith without works is B-E-A-V. -E <laughs> you don't know what that means? Get a dictionary and look at it. If you got a phone, you don't have to ask Google. Amen. Amen. Somebody say praise. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
we think that's crazy. No, I love you. Amen. Other preachers don't have to, don't take time with you enough to help you like that. Mm-hmm. Now you might have not, not all of them, but you got some of them like me. I'd say out of one, you got three. Mm-hmm. Not one of the three. Mm-hmm. That would take time. I, I think it's a little bit far less than that, but I'll just be a nice. Mm-hmm. That take time and minister the word of God to people. Mm-hmm. Instead of letting them leave out there in La La Land. First of all, I'm going to tell you my foundation. People don't understand the foundation inside of me. I know God can't lie. Amen. Woo! Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Yes, yes, I'm going to say that one more time in case somebody didn't catch that. Mm. I know God cannot mm. lie. Lord. And see, a lot of people, I'm going to say this same God. I want y'all to listen to me real closely. Closely. All those listening by way of Facebook, YouTube, and listen to me. Hear me good. You can lie when you write something. You can lie when you sing something. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You can you can lie. I took a form. You can lie texting. Yeah. Yeah. See, a lot of folks don't think you, te- you can text lie text. Text a lie. Yeah, you can. A lot of folks don't think you can write a lie. A lot of folks don't think you can sing a lie. Anytime you do something to willfully deceive someone, it's a lie. Amen. It's a willful intention to deceive. That's what a lie is. Mm-hmm. And I think the Bible said all lies. Mm-hmm. No, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. The same Jesus I'm talking about right now, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, the Lord, mm-hmm. the Lord of <laughs> Hello, somebody. Mm-hmm. The Lord of Glory, the King of Glory. Hear what he said. Mm-hmm. All lies. Mm-hmm. All. A L L. All lies. So every lie you ever told that you ever done, you need to repent right now. Ask God to forgive you. And mark that spot and don't go back. From that day forward, if you don't want to lie, just don't say anything. Amen. 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 Say, I'd rather not answer. Amen. You don't want to say that, just don't open your mouth. Be sure. Thank you. Because lying will cause you to end up in the lake of fire. Not just hell, but in the lake of fire. Oh, right. I don't know what your mama did. They even told you, brother, sister, uncle, well, if they, if they told you it's all right, I'm telling you not, they fooling you. Mm-hmm. All lies will have a part in the lake that burneth with fine brimstone. Don't let the enemy trick you. Stop lying. Repent right now. Get it right right now. And you know one of the hardest things somebody, like, why are you saying that? Because see, first of all, you lie, you don't you think everybody is lying. And you think it's all right to lie. You understand that? Your little man, there's a little man between your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. He says what goes into your subconscious mind, which controls your life. And what does? You follow what I'm saying? So when that when you don't convince that little man that you don't know what you, you don't believe what you say yourself. Everything anybody say is suspect. Amen. It believe everybody lies. Mm-hmm. It does. Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden, you question everything. Mm-hmm. You're cynical about everything. Mm-hmm. You don't believe nothing. You say you do. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. What happened, Pastor? You messed up that little man. Mm-hmm. Your conscience got sealed with a hot iron. Mm-hmm. Most people didn't know that what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your country got sealed with a hot eye. It yeah, can't tell the difference between the truth and the lie now. Mm-hmm. So it takes it all with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. But in order for the word of God to work in your life, it's got to get with mm-hmm. In your heart. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you get it? Mm-hmm. So if it don't, that, that's what the subconscious really is. Mm-hmm. If it don't get in there, it won't work. Amen. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's the ground. That's the soil. Mm-hmm. That the seed of the word got to grow in. Thank you. And once it's growing and take that over, it don't matter what's in your conscious mm-hmm. mind. Your mm-hmm. subconscious mind will override your conscious mind. Mm-hmm. So y'all hear what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Lord help us tonight. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm gonna say it one more time. I don't feel nobody said to me, I don't care what happened around me, what happened to me. My God cannot lie. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. And I ain't trying to convince myself, I'm trying to convince you. No, mm-hmm. because God I'm telling you. Dead and under. <laughs> Proved himself to me so many times. Mm-hmm. That if I, if I fail or not, I, I, must be, I, I must be a reject because <laughs> there ain't no way in the world. But I've seen and experienced and I've spoken words that he gave me to sell other people's lives and what I saw happen in their life, ain't no way. <laughs> I was doubt dead and that. Mm-hmm. Amen. Sometimes you just got to buckle down and go along for the ride. It ain't always a, a, a smooth ride. Contrary winds will blow. 
In the world, you're going to have tribulation. That's right. Hello. That's right. It's impossible that people won't try to offend you. Amen. Well, I better rephrase it. It's impossible that people will not offend you. Amen. Amen. People are going to hate you when they find you saved. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The book said they're going to persecute you. Mm. Some go kill us. Yeah. And have the nerve to say they did God a service. Yeah, that's right. What God? Yeah, we'll tell you something. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So yeah, you don't don't ever doubt God because the circumstances around you are tumultuous. Karen doubt not that we perish. And somebody said, How can you lay there in your sleep and sleep? <laughs> Because he had confidence in them. That's it. He trusted that they would handle everything. Amen. And instead of them handling, what did they do? Right. Went to cry. And that's what most church folk get. And see, I don't fault. If you listen to me and you're in that condition, I don't fault you. I fault your leaders. Mm -hmm. The people that were over you, that they didn't see you. Yes, yes. I saw it, and God corrected me and told me. To stop entertaining. I'm right. just summing up all like that. Amen. I'm going to hold their blood accountable to your hands. Mm -hmm. So I quit entertaining. Because I'm looking at people, and I'm going to tell y'all right now, you be around me for a second, I know you. Right. Period. No, so you might want well to forget about that, you get away with that thing. I will be honest. Well, so how do you know him? Amen. Who is him? Do you feel that? <laughs> but I want you to know he cannot lie. Right. Why are you reading the morning? I want you to understand God cannot lie. And that's always been my foundation. I know he can't lie. Thank you, so people think I'm crazy. I'm fanatical. I'm this and I'm that. No, I believe everything God said in his word. Mm -hmm. That's why I treat people where I treat them. That's why I deal with people out there. Mm -hmm. I, had, I told my brother one day about a week or so ago. I said, you want to find me in the word. I promise you, you'll find me there. Thank you. you want to know why I do what I do? Get in your book. And your and your mind, once your mind comes over to the word of God, you look at me and say, How did it happen? Thy word mm -hmm. have I hid in my heart that I'll not sin against thee. Amen. Amen. Is a lamp unto my feet? Mm -hmm. Light upon my path. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank when you. shall a young man learn his word? In this life. By taking him to the word of God. Amen. Amen. Now watch this now. Jesus said, He left me on me the work that I do, shall he be also. Is that what he said? Mm -hmm. Is that what he said? Amen. Can Jesus lie? Oh, come on now. Like the Bible said, the sixth verse of that same chapter, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Well, that was, you know, that's what the Bible says. Well, let me, let me, look, 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 look at See, people have got this bad thing to talk about. Well, you ain't never seen him. You ain't never talked to him. So how you know you're real? Don't say that to me. Amen. You say that to somebody else. Amen. But I'm not the one. Hello? Not boasting to brag on anything. That was just the grace and mercy of God. And like like you would able to say all the time, it, it, it's uh, dispensation by grace. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Amen. Everybody don't get that privilege. Thank you. I don't know why I know him that bad did it. Hello? Amen. But I've seen the Lord many times. Don't Amen. walk with the Lord and talk with the Lord. Are you following what I'm saying? He, oh, she I see you. By the Holy Spirit, you're here right now. I sense it. And the moment I start saying that, I sense it. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for the Holy Ghost because you know what? He got constant buddy. Amen. Constant companion. Uh, Always with us. No and if you embrace his presence, you know the book said he, he's the anointing. But he got to let it manifest in you and upon you. Yes, He'll remove every burden and destroy every yoke. Yes. The reason why the Holy Spirit is with people and they work it because they won't communicate with him. They won't right. fellowship with him. Fellowship. When you get the fellowship with him, the Holy Spirit will stand up in you and that's double reading. Mm -hmm. I was listening to that, reading one turn sex translation. Of the 10th chapter book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah blew my mind. It said the yoke would be destroyed because he got fat, because of the fatness. Woo! The yoke would be destroyed because of the fatness. Y'all understand that? Mm -hmm. In other words, the Holy Ghost feeds you to the point where the yoke is no longer yeah. big enough to hold you. Amen. You just bust right out of it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thanks. Woo! The fullness of God. <laughs> so when you, when you be filled with the fullness of God. Woo! Oh, yeah. Thank you. The fullness of God. Mm -hmm. That yoke can't stay on you. Nope. That burden just rolled right off. Right. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I tell you the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. That's right. Thank you. 
Because through me, you fellowship with Jesus and the Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, yeah, soon I start, that's always happened. When I start talking like that, I start, I become very conscious where you're mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm telling you, it's very moving. So sometimes I'll be, I'll be up here going through me, y'all be wondering why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> but then you gotta wave off. Woo! Come on, bless it. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord, bless it. Your name. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, teach me how to walk with you, to fellowship with you, to allow you to guide me, not be trying to guide you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. So he goes on to say, uh, the work that I do, shall you do also add what? Great love. That blows my mind when Jesus said great, but then I understand what he meant by that. It's more of us than it was him. People don't get that one. Not great in the sense. You ain't nowhere in the world, God, green earth, you're going to do greater in the sense of magnitude of work. No, it means numbers. And more of us than it was of just, he was just one person. Yeah. Thank you. The Bible said, if it was written in the book, the thing, that, all the things that Jesus did and said, mm -hmm. the world could not hold them. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine it? So when you start talking about we doing greater work, he was actually talking about there was more of us. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. What you mean by more of us? So if you over there on Calhoun Street or Calhoun Street over there, and you catch not demons and healing the sick and raising the dead, and I'm down here on South Ninth Avenue, catch not demons, healing the sick and raising the dead, that's double the work, right? Amen. Amen. My brother down in Hema, catch not demons, healing the sick and raising the dead, that's triple the work, right? Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And you still sitting there looking at me? <laughs> That's what he was talking about. And greater works. Greater works. He was talking about great, and greater works. Where the greater works at? It's here. Because we got here. He, he du duplicated himself, and we're all over the world. Amen. That's right. Global. Mm -hmm. Amen. A global world. Mm -hmm. So when you look at that, don't get, oh, Lord, where the greater works at? The greater works already been done because he's been, been multiplied Amen. by multiple thousands. Mm -hmm. And then he goes on to say, because I go under the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. Signifying, now, because Jesus said, a grain of wheat abides alone, except what? It falls away and dies. Yeah. What do you mean? It be planted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then when it grows up, what has it done? Multiply. 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 That's what he's talking about. Y'all yeah. got it now, right? Yeah. So there ain't no real mystery uh, if you talk to daddy and let daddy talk to you. Let mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost talk to you. Yeah. Talk to you. He opened it up for you. Help you see what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then he goes on to say, now this really blesses me. Whatsoever you shall ask in my name. Mm -hmm. See these precious promises? You see how better this was than the old covenant? Mm -hmm. Listen, only the priest, only the prophet, and the king could have this relationship. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 In my belief, <laughs> mm. Amen. If you really feel that God, you're supposed to do something for us. He said, preach. He said, teach. He said, cast out demons. He said, cleanse the levels. He was sick and raised the dead. So, what are you talking about? Mm. Ain't no way that he said, run around the house. Nope. Jump up and down, scream yeah. and holler. Where did it That ain't it. Glory to God. You know, I'm going to share this with y'all. Y'all get it. Y'all, y'all, you're just going to mess everybody up in here. <laughs> Always remember, this was David under the old covenant talking about in his gift of thanksgiving and in his club of praise. Mm -hmm. Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to open that up for you. I'm going to let you meditate on that because they're going to blow your mind when you realize. See, I used to tell people all the time, why are y'all trying to work God up? Yeah. Why are you trying to call him down? Amen. You think he lied? Believe me. Did, he, did he go back to heaven? I don't think so. <laughs> so what do you need to do? You need to live him up. Amen. And what Paul said in that fifth chapter of Ephesians? Uh -huh. You need to live him up. Paul said, Paul actually said in the fifth chapter of Galatians, he said, he said, walk in the spirit, you're not fulfilled of us in the flesh. Mm -hmm. So if you stay full of the spirit, you ain't gonna be practicing that stuff he said in the fifth chapter of Ephesians. Amen. And guess what will happen again? You gotta wave on it. You're not Lord. Ooh, Jesus. Guess what happened? He would, he will, he will, woo! He would tabernacle with you. Amen. My father and I will come and make our abode with you. Thank you. That's new, that's new. 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 That's
Amen. 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 But how many of y'all actually when somebody do something, you, you just grab their hand about to shake them, shake that the brains out? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I start demonstrating. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna try to shake the brain. I don't know if somebody gets my hand doing it. <laughs> shake the brains out. No. Well, what do we be doing in church? Same thing. Instead of we just saying, Lord, I thank you. We receive you. Lord, I bless you. Yeah. Lord, I honor you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Holla, 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 holla. If you gave somebody something and they grabbed you by your hand and started hollering at you, your reaction would not be nice. That's unbelief. That's unbelief. That's unbelief. When you do that, let me tell you something, that means you don't really believe. That's right. But when you truly understand that you are in God and God's in you and God with you and you're with God, mm -hmm. you look at and say, thank you, you have to believe. You say, thank you, Lord. I'm thank you. I'm so Praise the name. Thank you. Because that's only what you do with, with people you know they're there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you, when you, when... <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I got to do a little bit of moving forward. I got to do a little bit of moving forward. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Amen. Well, why you be hollering about that? I just be doing it because that's just me. That's my character. I act like that sometimes. But then I'll be trying to get into God. I'm already in God. God's in me. He already told me he don't move on up with faith. Amen. 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 Let me try to make some work. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say what you say in that, don't Amen. 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 Say what you say in that, don't we? Act like it's so. Amen. So he says, whatever you ask in my name. Y'all see that? He going to give us his name to you. Yeah. yeah. To ask the Father. My name. That's Cotty Blanche. I got written, I said that right. Cotty Cotty Blanche. Cotty Blanche. Hey Amen. They used to be a card, credit card like that. Yeah. Cotty Blanche. Lee card. Amen. Oh. Amen. Amen. Y'all heard of Master Key? Y'all know Master Key, right? Yeah. To a, to a apartment, to a business. Y'all know, know Master Key. I had a Master Key when I used to manage apartments. Oh, yeah. And I go get about it though. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and it had them unlock the door. I just unlocked it. I had, what? Had I had the master key. His name. Oh, <laughs> In my name. Jesus' name is the master. <laughs> see, see, I didn't make promises. See, I didn't do anything to get this. No. I didn't pay for my sin. Go to hell and pay for my no. sin. And it rise from the grave because I wouldn't have because I, I was a sinner. <laughs> right. So that wasn't going to happen. But Jesus took my place Amen. and went to hell for you and I. Amen. Right? So that we might have this promise. Amen. That whatever I ask the Father, whatever you ask the Father in his name, the Father would give it to you. Amen. Amen. I said, Ooh! Yes, Lord. What love has he loved us with? Yes. Great. Yes, Lord. Uh, he said, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So whatever you ask in his name, he will bag it up. Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you. If you could just embrace it and stop. Yeah. So, because as I told you before, I know God can't lie. Jesus can't lie. The Holy Ghost can't lie. I'm going to say something else that people don't understand. Their nature is faithful. Did y'all get that? Their nature is faithful. Amen. One of God's characteristics is faithfulness. So what does that mean? He won't fail. Thank you. He's faithful to do what he said. Mm -hmm. Amen. Scripture says, it is written, God is faithful. faithful. Thank you. It is written, faithful is he that calls you, but also will do it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And that's why God says he's a reward of those that deal with That means that are faithful to him. Mm. That was an explosive moment right there, y'all missed it. God is faithful to those that are faithful to him. Can you imagine what Jesus has done for this new covenant? What he's allowed us to tap into? Somebody say divinity. Divinity. Divineness. Mm. Godness. Listen, watch it, watch it, watch it. Creativeness. God has allowed us through the precious blood of his son Jesus and the operation of the Holy Spirit 
to enter into his creating power. Mm. He created all things by Jesus, and Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, I'll do. So what did he just say? If you ask anything in my name, I have a word, will do it. God holds all things by the word of his own. We understand that God created all things by his word, things that are uh, visible and things that are invisible. Whether it be things past, present, or future. Hello? Whether it be principality or power. They were made by him and for him. And by him they consist. Mm -hmm. And we have the existence. Amen. So what we've been allowed to enter into is beyond the human mind or intellect to comprehend. Mm. So we have to what? Embrace it. Somebody say embrace it. Embrace it. Don't question it. Be the little child. Such as is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Be the little child. Just embrace it because daddy said so. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. There was a time. Some act like it's still that time. When mm -hmm. parents would tell their children something and the children could bank on it. Amen. And they walk away smiling and laughing and happy as they could be. Amen. They embrace it. Let me share this with y'all. Daddy has always been a good daddy. Amen. Mm -hmm. A caring father. He had never been absent daddy. Hello, somebody. Amen. A broke daddy. No. A weak daddy. Mm. A feeble daddy. Mm. Yeah. Abusive daddy. Yeah. 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 God did not chastise us for his pleasure. No. Wow. When you're punished by God, you're punished for your pleasure. Mm. That you might bring forth the peaceful fruit of righteousness mm. if you be corrected by it. But if you rebel, you be strong. Amen. Not by God, but by the evil one. Because God let you have it your way. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. I used to say that all the time. I said, Dad, what is it to you? If men just do what they want to do and die. You know, all of a sudden, I don't know if the Holy Ghost slapped me with revelation and, and illumination and enlightenment. I just came to it on my, on my own. Duh, that's the way it is. <laughs> Puts up a sign and say, "Come this way," uh -huh. but he will never twist your arm Amen. and make you go that way. Thank he you. said, "Come to me," but he will never throw a rope out there and drag you to him willingly. Thank you, Lord. He said, "Whosoever will, let him come," mm -hmm. and he will no wise cast them out. So God don't make nobody do anything. No. So if you really want this, all you gotta do is embrace it because yeah. he already did it. Thank you, Lord. It's already been given to you. Hallelujah. If one, one, one way to say it is, he's already written a check and it's down at the bank waiting on him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That already called you up and told you, okay, I okayed it. All you got to do is come pick it up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hey. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Y'all follow what I'm saying? Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Some people can't get that. Amen. You went to the dealership and put in the application, put all the work in. Mm -hmm. Hello. Two y'all call you, they don't come back tomorrow. You call you up on the phone, the secretary call you up. They say, went through, you can come in the car. Mm -hmm. and, you and you don't even go. The devil is alive. <laughs> <laughs> but look what happened to the, look happened to the people of God that claim to believe in Jesus. Exactly. Jesus wrote your, he, he, he wrote your blank check <laughs> and signed. Yeah. And y'all still sitting here. Yeah, Jesus yeah. wrote you a blank check. That's the new covenant we on. It's a blank check. He wrote a blank check. Sign the thing. And said, now all you got to come here. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. You know what some people did? They came and got the check and wrote in there, forgiveness of sin. And that was it. Wrote in there a thrill. Wrote in there a thrill. And, and that was it. Wrote in there a, 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 a shout and a dance, and that was it. <laughs> Wrote in there a running around the church, and that was it. So, I'm ready. Wrote in there one Holy Ghost spit. Just one, and that was it. 
I wrote in the limit. Thank you. I wrote in the infinite. Yeah. I wrote in the unending. Amen. Self fulfilling. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I did. Oh, y'all. I can go like that. I'll stop it. I'll tell you. I'll talk about it one day. But the reality of it is that's what Jesus said. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it that the Father may be glorified in the Son. What Son? Him and you. Him and you. Him and me. Embrace it. Embrace it. That's one of the precious, the better promises. Jesus, I thank you. That's one of the better promises. Can you embrace it? Stop letting the devil fool you. You got you got privileges. Amen. Look at them say you got privileges. Amen. You got divine privileges. Divine privileges. Uh-huh. I'm just serious, I mean. Mm -hmm. Look at you got way off. Father, you're so wonderful. You're so gracious. You're so kind. I bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ministering to the hearts of your people. Why is all this happening to you? Jesus never told you the devil wasn't coming. Amen. Paul told you to submit to God and resist him. Peter told you he was going about like a roaring lion, looking for someone to eat up. So why wasn't he ready? Why could I be ready? Put on the whole arm of God. And if you read it, you'll know it's talking about something you need to do. <laughs> people, thought that, people thought that was an accurate helmet and a red plate and a long cloth and shoes and a shield and a, and a, and a sword. Mm -hmm. They didn't even try to figure out what that meant. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't even, they didn't even no. search to find a minister that had broken down for them. Mm -hmm. They just took that and ran off with it and said, I got on the whole of God because I got baptized. Mm -hmm. No! You didn't, who was he talking? Let me ask y'all a question. Who was the letter to? Mm. Six chapter book of the fifth. Who wrote that and who did they write it to? Oh. Oh. The apostle Paul wrote it and he didn't write it to sinners mm. who need to get baptized. Yeah. He wrote it to them that had already been baptized. So yeah. what was he talking about then if he was talking about baptism? Yeah. Some people need to get saved. Like and after they get saved, if he has got to give them a brain. I'm for real. Yeah. Amen. Because they lost it somewhere. The truth is matter. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So when you when you when you fully comprehend what you should be doing, then this becomes easy. Devil, I command you, get your stuff and get out. Yeah. Now he might throw a little tantrum, but you do like my book where it says. I told you to go. Amen. Amen. Then you might do like me. Angry about thanking you, Lord. Amen. Jack him up mm -hmm. and remove him from the premises. Amen. 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 Do you believe it? Oh, God, my home. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Oh, see. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. I know God can't lie. I know God can't lie. He gave his name to charge over. He oh. made the ministry spirits fall. Yes, so get in the word. Renew your mind in the word. Hello. Live righteously. Hello. Always be ready to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't just think you you got to talk the word. Thinking the word is fine. That's meditating. But you need to speak the word. Amen. It's the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit is the spoken word. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we're grateful. We're thankful for all that you've done, all that you're doing and you're going to do. Thank you for those that have heard me. Thank you for the Holy Spirit Amen. engraving that word in their spirit and not leaving them. That this word is going to bother them until they begin to get deep into it and realize what Jesus has given them. Thank you for hearing me. Is in Yeshua. Jesus and now in the name I pray. They want to say amen, amen. and amen again. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! Woo! Mama, mama, see I got a whole Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Glory to God. May he charge you up tonight. Amen, amen, amen. Appreciate you, saints. I hope you got somebody to bless you tonight. Embrace it. God don't have me to deliver messages of them. I'm a 
I'm a water boy, I'm a oracle, I'm a messenger. I just remember what he said. Amen. Amen. This is not something I make up. I can sit out, you know, people don't even understand the knowledge that God has given me. I can sit down and come with a thousand different things. I don't waste time. God speaks to me. I meditate on what he said, and they're going to say what he said. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Wow. Because <laughs> I don't like that <laughs> I like my stuff fresh. Amen. I might be teaching the minute on the same topic, but it's fresh. Amen. You know that I say something a little different about it than I said before. Amen. But most people think I can say the same thing all the time. No, no, not a bit of it. There's always another insight, you know. You know, you know there's all, if I look at you, whether you realize it or not, there's six viewpoints of me. Amen. Right? Right? Left side, right side, back side, front side. Thank you, Lord. Y'all need to get know. So there are six things I can talk about you. But just because I talk about one side of you, don't mean I'm talking about the whole of you. And when I come back and talk about you again, then somebody says, well, you still talking the same? No, I'm talking about the other side. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, God. Lord, help you out the way. God bless you, YouTube, Facebook. Appreciate you tuning in again. Appreciate all your offers and giving. God knows I cannot, I will not lie. I'm so grateful and thankful for you. Because God knows that the word is getting out and it's spreading. Hallelujah. So every time you tune in, make sure you share. Make sure you pull somebody else in. I want to link somebody else in. Because you know the message that are helping you. You may be shaking your head and saying, I just, no, you just need to do. Amen. Hello, somebody. Because the Bible said, it's not him that is a hearer of the word that is blessed in the deeds of the moment, but the one that does the word. So you just need to do. You heard it, now do it. Act on it. Embrace it. Live by it. Appreciate all the offers and giving. Everyone that being invested. Some people, are, we got a nice little uh, filter sitting up in there. People ain't going to value of it. I'm not going to say what it is. I'm going to keep it to myself. But the reason, more reason to want. But we thank God for you. You can't do these things without your help. Amen. And we don't want nobody to die. Praise Him. Amen. I didn't say I, I'm the ministry to anybody to die. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for debt free ministry. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the thing is that we do support, we do give, we do plant seeds. Amen. We do feed people, we clothe people, we shelter people, we care for people. Amen. All the time. It's not a one time thing, it's an ongoing thing. So we appreciate everything you do. We love to do greater things. I got great visions, saints of God. Great visions. Our vision of shelter for homeless people. Our vision of, of, of restaurants that will feed the homeless. Hell, somebody. I have a vision of orphanages. Amen. I remember one time I had a vision. I was walking down the street and this guy met me. And uh, and I said, How you doing, man? He said, I'm not doing this, but I'm going to win for the crime so I can go to jail so I can have something to eat. That thing tore me up in a dream. I went down a little alley in the dream. This is how clear that I remember this. I went down a little alleyway in the dream, and later tried to be able to cry like a baby. Mm. I cried myself a week. Mm. Wept with children. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So I, I have a vision, I have a burden, I have a, 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 to help people that need that need help. Because I and that that thing changed me forever. Amen. You never know when it might be the last help that somebody you give somebody. Amen. Amen. You never know when you said no. That person might have went out and killed itself. Yeah. You never know. You hear what I'm saying? You never yeah. know. So I try to help reach out and help people. We help all kinds of different ministries and different things. Try to keep this thing going. Yeah. But the world don't want you to do it. Yeah. But as long as we can, we're going to do it. Yeah. So if you're, you're afraid, you don't have any kind of outreach, love and do this ministry is the best place to Because yeah. we will definitely plant your seed. <laughs> Amen. And good soul. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 And here's what Jesus said. Give it a shelf to give it a leaf. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over shelf, then giving your over. By the measure me, so shall be measured. Amen. I remember David said, I will not offer anything unto the Lord that cost me nothing. Amen. You'll never go wrong. Even if you saw in my life personally, you will never lose it. Because I'm a blessed man. And anybody I bless is blessed. Amen. I'm for real. I don't put on so many people's lives, not even members of my church ministry. And their lives have blossomed and bloomed. I just said about a brother the other day, 
And he was talking about how he, I, the Lord told me to tell him that some years ago. Yeah. That he was going to get his own fellowship. And he testified to it Sunday that he got his own fellowship. He owned his way. And he don't even realize that he had become the millionaire that God said he was going to be. Amen. Amen. He don't even realize it because he wanted to embrace the revelation that was spoken over his life. Ain't God good? Oh. And he, you know why he tapped into it? I'm going to share it with y'all, young man. I get it. He took care of his man of God. Oh, yeah. He seated into his man of God. That's what opened that blessing up. And I tell people all the time once I bless you, bless it up. You walk in it. Amen. If you reject it, that's you. Amen. But I've seen it happen too many times. I've seen people go from a penny and a job to six figures in, in, within three months. Amen. What happened, Lord? Favor. Favor. One day, y'all remember when our brother here, he was way off in Raleigh, North Carolina, stuck in the store, couldn't hardly come to church. Come one Sunday and said, Pastor, I really want them to move me closer so I can get to come to church. I said to him, I was standing from the pulpit, I said, I looked at him and I said, Brother, if they have to build you a store so you can be close to home so you can come to church, they're going to build it. Hey, 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 hey. My God. <laughs> Any faithful? That built them a soul. Yeah. I'm real. Yeah. People sit around and act like this ministry ain't nothing. Now I don't give a hoot. <laughs> I gotta do that. I serve God. Amen. Yeah. I've been called apostle, prophet, whatever. Yeah. No. Don't matter to me. I'm just a horrible. I'm just a messenger. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And God honors my words. Yeah. So if you can believe that when you sow in this ministry, if you go back and sin like the devil, that what you sow will be multiplied back into 36 yeah. and 100 fold. Yeah. You just gotta stay in line to receive. God told me something one day. I'm going to share a similar, very similar. I asked God a question. It took him 10 years to answer me. Nope. He answered the same thing I asked him. Mm -hmm. But it took me 10 years to get in the position God could hear. Same thing with giving. Some of y'all wonder why your seed ain't coming up. Because you ain't been in the right place to receive your offer. All right. Y'all trying to get you there, but you wouldn't go. Mm -hmm. You've been sitting there doing your little thing. Here we go around and say, mm -hmm. before one of my dogs told me to quit doing it. <laughs> I try. I'm trying. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get out of that rut. Amen. And do what God said do. Mm -hmm. And you walk right into your blessing. Amen. Thank God for you and all that have given. And I know God is moving in your behalf. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And the Lord willing, if you'd like to do it again, if you go box 769, Dillon, South Carolina, 29536. For those that like to write a check, because I know you probably want to send a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand dollars. I know you want to do it, but if it costs you nothing, Guess what? Mm. You didn't give anything. Mm. Amen. And there are people listening to me that can't do it, too. Mm. What do you think I'm going to do with it? Go. How can I? You know, I used to wonder how to work at a millionaire. Mm. Keep that kind of money. If he was like me, he didn't spend it all. Mm. On what, Pastor? People. Yeah. People. You know, I got, I, it's not like I do have money and I don't have money. Y'all know what I'm saying? Amen. I got an unlimited source. That's right. The banks can't hold my money. Amen. Y'all understand? The Federal Reserve can't hold my money. Amen. I got so much money that the world can't hold. Amen. So I had to put it in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. What do you say, Pastor? Every time I need somebody, ask God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I make a withdrawal. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm asking God for something right now, and it's going to manifest, and it won't be long either, because everything I ask God for, He always gives me. Amen. And it's something humongous. I'm not going to say what it is right now, but once God tells me to give you permission to start speaking out in the atmosphere to everybody, I'll start speaking to everybody. Right now, I'm going to tell a couple of people. But once that one, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God has never failed to answer. Mm -hmm. I've said some things, and people thought it would never happen. Then when it showed up, they were gone. Mm -hmm. What do you want to around to see the battle of state? Mm -hmm. What happened, Pastor? They didn't believe. Hello? Amen. The Bible said, you shall reap and do season if you faint not. Amen. So I didn't faint and I reaped. Amen. Amen. So the other way you can send it the cash app, which is the dollar sign, L O B 3921. And you can, I think it's up to $2,000 for the cash app. I think you know, that I think they started, you know, blocking it. Amen. But I think you brought the two thousand dollars, and always be sure it's going to the work of the Lord. Now, if you want to bless me, that's up to you. Amen. But I'm telling you, it won't be wasted. But you give a profit of a cup of water, mm -hmm. what do you receive? A profit reward. Amen. 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 amen.
Hallelujah. You need anything now? I said, yeah, I need Jesus to come save us. Hallelujah. But I know, let me say it again, somebody didn't hear me. I know why the plague came. So if you've been trying to figure out what's going on, God allowed it. If we don't turn back to God as a nation, it is over. Amen. Mark my words, everything God then told me has come to pass. God told me some things recently, and all of it has come to pass. Except the judgment. So I'm, the moment I see that coming, mm -hmm. I hope the rapture takes place, but if it don't, back to Charlie, my car, Man. <laughs> we out. Where you going? Amen. I'm going to flee to the mountains. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I hear God. That's all I can tell you. And I had a man of God in Beckley, West Virginia. God had God had to speak to him to wake me up. And God was always talking to me. I'm for real. And so I was just feeling like, well, Lord, maybe I don't know what you're saying. I'm missing you. I need somebody. I need somebody. I need somebody. I tell me what you're saying. And so I was talking to my mentor in Beckley, West Virginia, before he left and went to heaven. And he told me, he said, son, God told me to tell you, you know his voice. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Man. That was it. Amen. That was it. I'm convinced. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you like to continue the trip, like I said, don't be limited what you give. Amen. You need a miracle, tap in. Amen. I promise you, I've seen God manifest money out of nowhere. How he did it, I think the angels wouldn't found somebody that didn't pay their tithes. <laughs> That's it. I believe that will happen. Tell them, tell them. All right, I'm going to let you go. God bless you. Appreciate you. I look forward to uh, speaking to you again. Lord, when nothing happens, if I know one of the brothers and one of the sisters will. Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Have a blessed one. Thanks for you too. Amen, amen, amen. amen.